Hello and welcome back. In this session, we're going to talk about the various resources available to learn and apply in-demand Salesforce skills. The best way to show your Salesforce skills is through Salesforce certifications. Now, Salesforce certifications are key to your Salesforce career. They enable you to prove your knowledge and expertise and can open up many doors in the ecosystem. There are over 40 at the moment, but don't let that scare you because many of them are highly specialized. And unless you specifically want to be a developer, a marketer or an architect, then they may not be relevant for you. When you are starting out in the ecosystem, one of the best ways to get your foot in the door when applying for roles is to be able to back your application up with certifications like this one. It shows your commitment, your investment, and your desire to become a Salesforce professional. You can book and sit any of the Salesforce certification exams, either remotely or on site. Salesforce certifications are really important to your career. They open up career opportunities and they do increase your earning potential. So how do you develop these skills and become certified? Well, there's a couple of options. There's Trailhead, Trailhead Academy, Salesforce Help, Salesforce Go, and the Trailblazer community. And of course, there's other resources such as this, but you won't be asked about us on your certification exam. So first of all, we have Trailhead. And Trailhead is Salesforce's own learning and training platform. And to be quite frank with you, it's awesome. And it's the best way to get hands-on experience when it comes to configuration. It's completely free and it provides an interactive gamified learning experience. And in my experience, it's great to use to get hands-on experience, but it does lack a lot of the depth that you need to pass your certification exams. And when you look at Trailhead, you have a couple of options of how you learn. There's a huge amount of content, including step-by-step -step instructions, videos, walkthroughs, screenshots, and articles. You can even complete quests, which allow you to win Salesforce prizes. There are trail mixes, which are made up of trails, trails, which are made up of modules and modules, which are made up of units. Now this sounds quite confusing, but it isn't. Trail mixes are just a collection of trails that are combined to provide an in-depth learning path. So you have trail mixes such as prepare for your Salesforce associate credential, which is made up of all the relevant trails to help you prepare for the Salesforce associate credential. Then you have the trails. And these provide an ordered set of modules or projects that provide a guided learning path. So a collection of modules that will help you reach your goal. And then we have the modules, which are just a collection of individual units that help you learn what you need to learn. You may have even heard of Salesforce badges. You earn these by completing modules and projects. Modules cover more specific areas such as products, features, or a skill, whereas projects are a series of hands-on steps that allow you to learn Salesforce by being more hands-on. At the moment, there are around 1,800 badges available, but don't worry about that because it'll take you a lot of time and experience to earn them. Then we have super badges. These are more in-depth demanding hands-on experiences. They're much broader and they usually cover an entire feature by providing a real-life business scenario that you have to build a solution for. One up on the super badges are supersets, and these are groups of super badges designed to better help you prepare for specific certifications. A form of recognition Salesforce have are Ranger Ranks, and they are based on the number of badges and points you've earned. They start off at a Scout, through to Hiker, Adventurer, Ranger, Triple Star Ranger, and All Star Ranger. To carry out all this hands-on work, you need somewhere to do it, and that's where Trailhead Playgrounds come in. A Trailhead Playground is an org you can use to complete hands-on challenges, and get more hands-on experiences. You could do whatever you want without impacting anything else. You could create as many playgrounds as you want for free, although you can only have 10 active at any one time. Within these playgrounds, you could carry out as much configuration as you want. You can even install apps and packages from the App Exchange. Next, we have the Trailhead Academy. And if you are looking for instructor-led training by Salesforce themselves, then you can enroll in a Trailhead Academy class. You can learn most of Salesforce's products this way, as well as other useful classes that focus on skills to supplement your certifications. They vary in price, but for example, the Admin Essentials course is €3,255. So they're not the cheapest, but if you do want instructor-led training provided by Salesforce, this is going to be where you find it. Then there is Salesforce Help, 
This is a great place to find online documentation for any of Salesforce's features or products, and you'll always be able to find the release notes for summer, winter, or spring releases on Salesforce Help. If you're looking for learning on the go, then there's the Trailhead Go app, which you can download and install to your mobile device. You won't be able to carry out any hands-on configuration, but you will be able to complete the trails that only require a quiz, and you'll be able to access the Trailblazer community too. Speaking of which, we have the Trailblazer community, and that's where you can connect and get answers from a community of experts. It's one of the best things about Salesforce, a community where you can connect and learn from other Trailblazers. You can ask questions, you can answer questions, you can join groups, and you can follow other Trailblazers. When you ask a question, you should add some details and context, and you can also add a topic or multiple topics just to help people find that question quicker. Once you have an answer, you have the ability to mark it as a best answer, which then helps other trailblazers solve the same problem that you was having. And if you know the answer to a question, then be sure to help others. You can also join groups with like-minded individuals. There can be regional groups, product-specific groups, industry-specific groups, and much, much more. And there are two types of groups within the community. You have public and private. Public groups are open to everyone, meaning that anyone can join them, whereas you have to request to join a private group. In my opinion, one of the greatest things about the Salesforce community is how trailblazers want to meet and support each other. And that is also done through the community events. These can be in-person events or virtual events, and they provide a great chance for you to connect with other trailblazers. If you are looking for inspiration, then check out my Trailblazer story topic. It's where other trailblazers share their stories and experiences within the community.